Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be solving yet another Hanayama puzzle. And today's puzzle is the level 5 Amor puzzle. Now I may have just completely butchered that name, however, it's probably going to get its revenge on me given that it is a level 5 out of a possible 6. It means it's going to be a very, very tough puzzle to solve. But there's only one way that we are going to find out whether that is the case or not, and that is to have a go at it. So as always, we are going to attempt to disassemble the three pieces, then we're going to aim to put them back together in their original position. And then once we've done that, we're then going to place it on our leaderboard of easiest to hardest Hanayama puzzles done so far. Going left to right, bottom to top, everything in between. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so here is the Amor puzzle made up of three pieces. And yeah, arranged very nicely, very nicely. So obviously our aim is to separate these two things from this heart-shaped shell. And well, these are what, male shaped male and female, these bits here. I think that's pretty much just decoration. I don't think the, the arrow or the cross are gonna have any sort of factor, are going to be any factor in the actual solving of this. But yeah, it looks interesting. I don't, I don't completely know where to start with this one. But what we will do, oh actually I do know where we're going to start. We're going to start by reading the box and see if there's any clues in here. So uh, the two individual linked loops make this puzzle extremely challenging. The objective is to remove the Master Villet United Adam and Eve loops from the metal plate crafted in the shape of the forbidden fruit. Well that's, well, that's not an apple shaped, is it? It's heart shaped. The forbidden fruit is an apple, wasn't it? Anyway, and if you succeed in putting them back together again, your love may just come to fruition. Oh my god. There's so much more riding on this puzzle than I ever expected. So, where do we start? So, each piece has a gap in there, like that. And obviously on its opposite end, so when it's put together, it's got those two grooves in there. I would suspect that the grooves don't have much to do with it for the actual solving, other than sort of just that final or original position. What I am expecting is it just to be based on these gaps in here and how we maneuver around. Ah, so maybe these bits are just there to get in the way more than anything. So what we need to do is, looking around the, the heart piece, here is the only place where these gaps, I think, are gonna be able to slide over. Looking at the thickness of that, it looks thicker than the gap in between these pieces. So, I would suspect that It looks too thick looking at that. So uh, yeah, let's assume for now that we have to come over this edge with these gaps in here. And these are a little bit more tangled than I expected them to be. And just a quick note actually, in here you might be able to see that it's sort of hidden under there. Uh, it says there's a Hanayama, not engraving, but a Hanayama writing and then AY underneath. AY is for Akio Yamamoto, who is the designer of this puzzle. And off the top of my head, I know that the Vortex piece, uh, the Vortex puzzle has an AY piece in it. So he must have also created uh, that puzzle as well, which is currently sat in second place on the uh, leaderboard of, of hardest puzzles that we've done so far. Which, yeah, doesn't excite me about this one because, yeah, that means it's going to be pretty tough to solve. Or could potentially be extremely tough to solve. So how do we untangle these? I'm trying to manoeuvre, I mean, obviously from this side, it looks like I should just be able to slide this piece over the edge there. But from this side, this obviously gets in the way. So how do we get that out, out of the way? What is now annoying is these bits getting in the way. I, I think the shape of them doesn't matter, it's just the fact that they are a hindrance to, to where we want to go. Oh, so 
we can that's interesting. So we can probably yeah pass that through there. That probably helps. Well, let's assume that it's helped. Maybe we can do the same on the other side. Don't know whether that'll help or not. We'll find out. I'm going to assume not actually based on that. Hmm. There's actually more variation to this than I expected there to be. But those passing over there and through those pieces, they will be important. I'm sure of it. Now, based on the way they are as well, it's only going to be possible for each each piece to go through the opposite sides. We're not going to be able to go through there and there with the same piece, which helps because I guess that limits the amount of positions that we can be in. I'm not really sure what I'm aiming for at the minute. I'm trying to get one of these at, over the edge here, but... Mm, everything's very tangled. Also, that's interesting. We can sort of... Maybe that's, this makes it odd. Ah, does it make a difference? I don't think it will make a difference, but we can go this side or this side when we come together. But yeah, I'm fairly sure that shouldn't matter. Right, so far we've got absolutely nowhere. Right, wait, I'm not 100% sure how we did that, but we did it. And now I should be able to take that piece of the, oh, wait, how did that happen? How did that happen? Right, let's assume, right, so I think I've done it now. We've separated that piece there, and, oh, how do we do this bit? I hate it when I get to these stages because, I mean, it's, oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not do that? That was that was the panic that I was just about to explain. So you get to that point and you think, oh, this should be simple now. But the pressure of being on camera got, got to me for a little bit there. But we've managed to solve that much quicker than I expected. I'm not sure about the level of being a level five on that one for taking it apart. Um, yeah, we'll put it back together. We won't jump to conclusions in uh, in rating its difficulty just yet uh, but yeah we've we've disassembled the MR puzzle and yeah well in under 10 minutes I think and now it's time to put it back together so I'm, I'm fairly certain that which bit goes back in first won't matter however we sort of we do need to make sure that they are on opposite sides. So if that one goes in there and twists around, this one needs to go on there and twist around. However, when we took the first piece off, I'm pretty sure we crossed. So we're going to go in like that and then twist from there. And then somehow, Get back to where we were. Is that it? Pretty sure that can not be it. Let's have a quick look. Um, I think I've got lucky in terms of putting the um, the right bits on the right sides, but that is a reassembled immortal puzzle. <laughs> wow, that was that was so simple. I'm confused as to as to why that was so easy, both to take apart and put back together. I'm gonna have to do a bit more, a bit more investigating with this one before we jump to conclusions, I think. However, that is possibly the quickest level five puzzle that we've ever done.
But, and yeah, that's it. I mean, we've taken it apart, we've put it back together extremely quickly. And we've just got one thing to do, to place it on our leaderboard. So that was surprisingly easy for a level five puzzle. That is not what I expected at all, to be honest. All in all, it took around 10 to 12 minutes to both take it apart and put it back together. And it seemed like it was just one move that actually, that was the key to it coming apart, which was sort of untangling one of the cross or arrow pieces. And then you could sort of slide it off to that edge that didn't have the barrier around. So I'm, I'm slightly confused more than anything as to how how Hanayama have ranked that as a level five puzzle. That is, yeah, I can't fathom that. I can't understand how that's happened. Again, unless I've been extremely lucky and just done exactly the right moves at the right times in the right places, which I don't think I have. Yeah, the, the, the rating is confusing. Now, regardless of the difficulty with it being so easy, it's still a very nice puzzle. I think my, my attitude towards it, if this was like a level two or three puzzle, then I'd be loving it. I thought, oh, this is so well made. It's a very enjoyable puzzle to do. But it's that level five rating that you, you go in expecting a challenge or more of a challenge and, and you don't get it. So as negative as this sounds right now, it's still a very nice puzzle. It's a very smart puzzle. It works well, it's very well made, and it just looks very pretty. It's just not as hard as you expect it to be. So given that, it's now time to place it on the leaderboard. Easiest puzzles are down here. The hardest puzzle, the hourglass puzzle, is up there, and everything in between is also there. So first coming into this, we were I was thinking more top two rows at, at worst, but now we're sort of bottom two rows and possibly even bottom row. And where we're gonna start is we're gonna start with the easiest level five puzzle that we have done up to now, which is the level five spiral puzzle right in the corner. So the first question is, is the, is the Amor puzzle easier or harder than the spiral puzzle? The spiral puzzle is also very easy. I think one key for both of these, the Amor and the spiral, is when you do take it apart, you just need to be mindful of which bit goes where, especially with the spiral puzzle. If you get the spiral puzzle mixed up in its pieces, then it's quite a long process of putting it back together. And I think it's possibly the same with the Amor puzzle. If you sort of try and put them back together without crossing them over, you're probably gonna run into a little bit of trouble. So, based on that, I think we're gonna say that the spiral puzzle is probably gonna keep its place as the easiest level five puzzle that we've done. Which then, we move up to the Dolce puzzle, which we solved fairly recently. Now, the Dolce puzzle's got more moves. It took me longer to solve. And I think we're gonna end it there. I think the, the, the level three Dolce puzzle is harder than the Amor puzzle. And that's it, job done. That's possibly the quickest ranking we've ever done. So we're gonna be Harder than the level five spiral, but easier than the level three Dolce puzzle. So there we go, we are now genuinely full on that row. It seems like 14 is the maximum number that we can get on each shelf, which means we've got three more puzzles to do before I'm gonna have to add a shelf to the top, which is quite quite sad to say, but quite exciting. But there we go, we have done all three objectives. We disassembled the MR puzzle, we put it back together, and then we've placed it in its correct position according to its difficulty on the current leaderboard. And thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me solve any more of these Hanayama puzzles and then the step-by-step -step solutions to each and every one of them. We'll be doing the Amor puzzle, which shouldn't take very long. That'll be out in a couple of weeks. And if you wanna see all those, then click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.